so it's a week out of me being in Alaska and uh, I've been in Fairbanks for about six weeks now so um, I'm becoming uh, well <laughs> acclimatized not just to weather but uh, also to Fairbanks life. Um, this last week's been quite interesting uh, I've done a few things that uh, been spontaneous. Um, I met a group of uh, German guests here at the hostel uh, and we went out a couple of days to a numerous uh, array of events, the first of which being uh, Walk the Reindeer. Now this is something I really wanted to do but to do it on my own would cost about $70 but if you do it with a group it costs about $35. So, um, so basically there I was with the German guests uh, Catherine and Lena and also a um, regular stay person here, uh, Kirk. He's also German speaking, but he comes from uh, from Florida. And we went all out to uh, the reindeer farm and uh, had a lovely little walk with the reindeers. Spoke to Jane, the owner, had uh, cookies and hot chocolate in a warming house after the walk, which was very nice and I put a nice touch to it. And then the next day we set off in the car to Chena Hot Springs. Now, Chena Hot Springs is a massive attraction for any tourists coming to Fairbanks, possibly anyone coming to Alaska, they really are quite cool, uh, or I say cool, probably quite hot. 40 degrees Celsius this water is, and it's heated by the pure warmth of the earth. In fact, actually, the earth warms this water, these springs, higher than 40 degrees Celsius. They have to um, use special cooling techniques to make sure that it's uh, a sensible uh, temperature for people going in. Um, so t my top half of my body was in minus 20 degrees Celsius and the bottom half was in 40, so it was quite a difference. And um, I've got to say right now that uh, it's been fantastic meeting these guests at the hostel. If I was in a hotel, it wouldn't have been quite the same. So I've really grabbed some really good opportunities this week because of the fact I'm here at Billy's Backpackers. So that's week eight and uh, Week 9 coming up.